I know that few like to admit this, but Christians often struggle with addiction issues. Now much can be said about this, but I would simply like to outline a basic framework that can provide guidance for everyday living for those believers who also happen to be addicted to something. You could say that this is the daily list of priorities for disciples who are addicts. Priority number one, faithfulness. Faithfulness has to be the first priority because it is the necessary state that guarantees eternal life and access to the Holy Spirit's power to resist the corrupting influence of the world, as well as insight into the mind of God that reveals His will and ongoing purpose for your life. Priority number two, sobriety. For whatever reason, addiction has become the element that defines your life here on earth. Some have natural genius, others wealth, others still may have amazing outlier opportunities that have set them apart from society. You know, people like Bill Gates or Tiger Woods. And then other people are born blind or poor or in countries that have been at war. And these conditions define the kind of life that they have. Then there are those whose greatest achievement and testing comes from a lifelong struggle with addiction. There are no medals or cash rewards, only the knowledge that you have been placed in a lifelong war for the control of your sobriety. This takes priority over any other achievement or career path. This is why it is number two on the priority list. Without recognizing that this will be the cross that you have to bear, I mean, no matter how or when or whose fault it is, it just is, you will not be able to achieve any of the other objectives in the remaining life priorities unless you actively pursue this one. Without sobriety, nothing else will be realized. Priority number three, family. Having and nurturing a family is the God-given purpose of every person on earth. It is why we are here. To marry, have children, establish a home and a legacy. These are the things that we have been given to do by God while we are here on this earth. It is the activity that best suits our human nature and the society that we live in. Priority number four, career. Our work not only supports our families, it is the vehicle by which we give honor to God with the fruit of our labor and find the greatest personal satisfaction while we live here on this earth. Number five, edification. Edification refers to those things we are involved in for the sheer pleasure they bring us. Sports, travel, music, hobbies, friends, all those things that bless our souls and expand our appreciation for the life and world that God has created for our use and pleasure. If the Christian who carries the cross of addiction maintains these priorities, he will have God's help to bear the load that he carries and hopefully overcome the addiction in time. However, if he or she puts these into a different order or neglects one, especially the effort to proactively deal with addiction, the others will always be jeopardized and harder to achieve.